Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Nichi Joe episode number 9 reaction. Okay, the previous episode. Um uh first of all the thing that happened was Nano's hand went on its own journey. <laughs> it had like a rocket like you know inside it. And uh while on the other hand Yuko and her friends, like you know the tr trio, uh, Yuko as always like you know starts making like you know weird jokes like you know like wordplay puns and everything and both of them just ignore her completely all the time and she keeps making these jokes at the point that she herself get embarrassed <laughs> and while you know Mio and Mai were like their face were like just yeah <laughs> and uh, then comes the Misato section uh, I think that was the name Tachibana Misato yeah uh, where she is as always like you know, keeping up with her Sundre, um, you know, like things that she does, and uh, like she just keeps uh, attacking Sasara just because he dropped like a handkerchief and she was the one who picked it up, and uh, like you know, keeps doing that whole thing and the whole Sundre shtick that they do, and in the end she gets she gets hit by the detached hand of Nano. Oh my God. And uh, and there was a multiple uh, a lot of other sections as well. That part was also really funny, where they kind of uh, my Misato, uh, uh, sorry, my Yuko and um, Mio, they got like in a, they're like in a, an elevator, and the whole sin, the, you know, atmosphere and everything was just so uncanny in a weird way. And then they start weirdly laughing, and uh, like they're descending to madness. That section that was kind of entertaining. <laughs> And uh, yeah, and also that was, there was that part with um, uh, what was her name? Uh, Nano, Nano, and uh, Hakase. Uh, like you know, Hakase being like uh, has eaten like you know snacks before falling to going to sleep, and obviously Nano is not happy with that. And here, kind of, Hakase kind of says like, "Oh, you're a robot. You don't have to think about all of these things." And Nano is very sad because of that. <laughs> so. <laughs> Haka says like, all right, I'm going to give you a cavity function in the future. <laughs> so yeah, that was that was that was funny. All right, let's see what happens today. Uh, this is episode number nine. Let's start. I'll be putting the subtitles and the time I hear. Sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. Okay, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> okay. Whoa! Yeah! Really? Okay! <laughs> okay, this is a bit overboard. <laughs> wow i love how this show just takes everything to the extreme in such an extreme that i doubt anyone will even be able to imagine like like in whose mind comes even these type of scenarios like oh test is over let's get married that's like it was the most extreme and I love it, you know, it's so random and takes things to such an extreme that it's it's so comedic. That's what makes it so funny. My god. Hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, let's go. Oh boy. All right, Mio is here.
What? Oh my god, <laughs> sister again. God. <laughs> this is like every day for her. <sighs> oh wow. Well, well, this is normal for her, you know? Why did you do that? But she ate that? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Why? Ah, uh, okay, makes sense. <laughs> oh my god. That is not a joke. You, you destroyed someone's food. That's definitely not a joke. <laughs> what the? Are those turtles? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh my god, I feel like something's going to go wrong. Oh no, something's going to happen. Ah! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh no is that why she's wearing the protective gear i think <laughs> because she knows she's going to <laughs> oh my god she ate it yeah i think so <laughs> i'm pretty sure that's why she's wearing the protective gear she knows that this is going to happen Oh boy. Oh no. To me. Wait, is her birthday? So is that why she ate the What? No! This is not how you... Yeah, what? It's not even her birthday. Okay, well, that... <laughs> even if it was her birthday, like, what? Oh no, she's... What? She's still... Oh my god, she's still doing this, the teacher. Putting these pictures. Wow. Correct. Okay, and that was the only one which was correct. Okay. <laughs> what? Wait. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Amateur. So what is she going to? Okay. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. Okay, okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this doesn't work. 
she's so done with her life you know this girl she's like ah i'm so tired of <laughs> oh no <laughs> okay Squishy thing. Why is she talking like this? Wait, what? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> Ah, oh my god that... <laughs> Oh Just waiting Still not here Yeah <laughs> Yeah Oh no still not here <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this, she's really what? <laughs> oh my god, this is such an awkward position, you know, like only your food has not come. <laughs> okay, there you go. What the? What's happening? <laughs> you. I I guess that's one way to get away from your customers' complaints. Just. Start crying before the customer says anything. <laughs> God damn it. Just, what? Oh. Oh my God. Wow. Whoa. Okay. Oh my god. She she has like two repellents? <laughs> oh. Oh no, it's not there. <laughs> uh Ah, there it is. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah she's tricking the mosquito there you go <laughs> oh no it's gonna fly away i think oh no it's gone okay all right there's a lot of them wow What is this, a samurai? Like... <laughs> Yo, this... <laughs> this is a Rupan coat. Wow! She has a lot of energy. <laughs> oh no! She's gonna get slapped, I think. Yes, there you go. I knew it. She was gonna get slapped. <laughs> oh no! Wow. Okay. Oh. 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 Yeah, she's she's asleep now. 
<laughs> you won't wake up. <laughs> God damn. Uh, she did kill a lot of them, you know. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> uh. mm, okay, this the playing shooter? No. Ah. Okay. Get it. Yes. Perfect. Self control. Oh no, self control. Okay. That's interesting. No shot. Oh, in front of the fans, you know, like. It, it, I remember I I also did that. You used to like just kind of make noise in front of the fans and his videos to come weird noises to come out. Ah <laughs> You have Omarize there. <laughs> She is a kid. True. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Judging him silently. Oh, she she ate the popsicle. Yeah, that's why she's probably. <laughs> oh my god! She ate everything. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh my god, the turtles are... Oh, all of them are gone. She keeps... <laughs> she keeps... She's like... <laughs> ah! Yo! <laughs> no, you're... Yeah. <laughs> No more food, no more omelette rice. Yes. And no crap for you, Sakamoto. <laughs> oh. No. oh. Yeah, <laughs> one month. <laughs> Probably. Yes, exactly. It's already turned around, okay. What? What is it? Yo, she! Wow! Wow! <laughs> Sakamoto said told to do that. She's again. <laughs> A little miracle. What is wait, what is this place? Oh, 
Oh. Oh, the person who wins will get that? Okay. Oh, all right. Short thoughts. <laughs> um. Okay. Oh, <laughs> again, kick <laughs> volleyball. What? That's a lot. Ten thousand yen. Yeah. Dai Yo. Is is this a job? Oh my god. <laughs> You get 10,000 years for doing this? <coughs> you, you, no one's, no one's ex buying anything. <coughs> How is she breathing through that? <coughs> Oh, there, there is. Uh... <laughs> it's not fair. Yep. Oh. Oh my God. Ha! Ah, she, she been... <laughs> That scream. Okay, I can understand why they're paying 10,000 yen for this. <clears throat> oh. oh my god. Yeah, she understood it was her. Oh no, no, maybe not. Maybe she doesn't understand. She didn't recognize her. Wait. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> what about my 10,000 yen? Give me my money. Okay. Yeah. Oh no. I feel like the sister somehow tricked her or something. Maybe it was... What? <laughs> I think that maybe this is the trick to maybe put one extra zero or something. I wouldn't be surprised if that's something that she did. Oh, it's working. There you go. <laughs> what happened? Hey, uh, did she get her money? Probably not, <laughs> because there was no sale at all. Where would she even get the money from? Like as I was saying, it wouldn't surprise me if the sister actually. It was like like you know the thousand yen, and the sister was like, "All right, let's put an extra zero in there." <laughs> and after doing her job, the owner would be like, "Yeah, there you go, one thousand yen." <laughs> And she'd realize that her sister tricked her.
All right. That okay. Oh my god, the mosquito's back again. <laughs> oh, it's, this time it's for Nano. Okay. <coughs> <laughs> oh, she got it in one time. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, who is it? You don't know Aya. You don't know Aya. I no idea who this is. I'm, I don't think I've I probably have heard the voice, but I can't recognize it. You don't know Aya. Let me check. You don't know Aya. Excuse me. <clears throat> okay. Oh, Haruhi. She's Haruhi. Okay, okay. Haruhi. Lucy. Oh, Lucy. Okay, Lucy from Fairy Tale. Okay, I can. I can. Yeah, I can hear it now. All right. Uh, Misa from Death Note, okay. And uh, is there any recent, um, any recent anime she did? Let me see. Uh, no, nothing recent I can see. Uh, nothing recent. She 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 has done a lot of shows before. Um, for example, Misa Amane from Death Note. Um, who else? Fairy Tale, Lucy Hartfilia. There you go. Uh, oh wait, she's also the narrator of oh Nichijo narrator. So she's also the oh only for episode nine, I think. Okay, okay, it's written episode. Nine. Oh, the narrator, the end. Okay, that's what. Okay, okay, okay. I I understand now. Oh, so okay, okay. Uh, Hunter Hunter Menchi. Okay. Um, Gintama Imai no. Oh, she's also Nobume's voice actress from Gintama. Okay. Um, Migi from Parasite. Ah, and obviously, um, Haruhi from Haruhi Suzumiya. Okay, interesting. So yeah. Okay. So <clears throat> this episode, today's episode, we. Begin this episode with <coughs> the teacher. <laughs> that was funny. The teacher was like, "All right, test is over," and everyone's like, "Oh, it's amazing!" Like throwing confetti. Everyone just like kind of celebrating, and <laughs> the girls are like, "Oh, we're dreaming. This is a dream." Like kind of hugging each other, and like <laughs> the two of them were like, "Oh, we're gonna, going to get married now," and then <laughs> they start just you know like just. Uh, lifting the teacher up and like damn that's one way to celebrate I guess and that's what I was saying I love how they take everything to the extreme and it's just so so random and it's so just you know like it's so entertaining like <laughs> like the amount of excitement they had after like you know test is over I guess uh, <clears throat> like you know like obviously like you know I'm pretty sure this is like a common thing for everyone test is over everyone's happy and I also remember, yeah, my school days as well, you know, like, ah, uh, like, test would be like, you know, we had to have tests, like, for how many, like, we had to have tests for a lot of days. We used to get a lot of breaks in the middle as well to study. Like, for example, it would go on for, like, almost, like, half a month, 15 days, 20 days sometimes. And we used to have, like, one test, two or three days gap, then, like, you know, three tests, one, like, you know, one after the other. And then again, we have to like what two or three days gap. Like it, this is how it used, it used to go. And oh boy, oh boy! Like you know, the final day of the test. Whenever the test began, like you know, at least I was like, all right, like twenty days left. And we used to keep counting the days. And when the, it was would be the twentieth day, you know, the test would be over. It would be such a joy. Like and all the friends would be like, ah, finally. You know, we used to go to eat. Like you know, go eat and everything. Like you know, like have fun, play. Like you know play in the playground and do all the other stuff that we used to do and yeah it, it was such a great time and after coming home like you know it, it was just chill like you know, no problem nothing no studying just 
amazing and i can i can understand the amount of excite excitement they were feeling but i guess not enough excitement to get married you know <laughs> that was something you know like that was something too hardcore i feel like <laughs> anyways um that was that that was entertaining the first part the next part we get to see mio just get in the room and the sister is just sitting there in a kendo like an you know, outfit and uh, mio just ignores him her and I feel like she actually wore the outfit just because she knew that her sister is going to <laughs> punch him <laughs> somewhere down the line. So she was just ready for it, you know, like she was like, all right, today what I'm going to do is like wear my kendo, like, you know, uh, uniform just so that if she like, you know, like hits me, nothing major happens. And that's, she was just ready. <laughs> and she says, she's that she's just ignoring her. And she's like, why are you ignoring me? Are you mad at me? And he was like, obviously, why did you put a king, Shogi piece, on my, um, I think Mont Blanc? Yeah, I think that's what he said. Yeah, Mont Blanc. And <laughs> he was like, oh, I just, I just thought that it would be funny, you know? And oh my god, I feel like doing something to someone else's food is such a, uh, such a, such a bad thing to do. Like, I think that that's like a goat or something. Like, I, I've seen this, heard this in anime a lot of times. Like, uh, grudges over food is very dangerous something like that and I think there's like a quote like this and uh, yeah that that's true you know like <laughs> like especially for food you're like keeping something for yourself and suddenly you know, one of your siblings just comes in and just eats it suddenly and you're like what the hell I kept it for like five days so that I could eat it and you just ate it without even asking me and that type of thing and <laughs> she she did kind of the same thing put on the king piece on that so uh, no sorry knight piece on that <clears throat> so all right obviously mio was just mad at that and she was like gave her like a whack with the <laughs> newspaper she's like all right enough about that let me grab my shortcake she, she takes the shortcake and she goes up to eat it peacefully and she was like she's thinking like all right i might be able to forgive my sister for what she did because now I'm going to eat my shortcake. He opens that box and there you go. And on top of the cake is a king piece. <laughs> she rushes down and she's like, how dare you eat my strawberry? <laughs> I've been keeping it for myself. And you know, like... Ah, oh, and she... <laughs> the sister is, as always, just doing her usual like and trying to mess with her and Mio just starts crying she's like like sh strawberry without sh uh shortcake without strawberry is like a normal bread I don't want to eat a normal bread <laughs> oh my god and I oh my god that part was so unusual she starts she starts singing happy birthday to me I'm like what is happening is it her birthday is that why she ate the strawberry and I'm like, okay, even if it's her birthday, why would you eat someone else's strawberry <laughs> and not tell them and put it on like, you know, like a king piece on that? She keeps like, you know, like saying happy birthday to me and just <laughs> grabs the king piece, takes it up out. And there's like a piece of paper written happy birthday, I think. And Mio was like, sister, it's not even your birthday and just wax her, her again. And I'm like, all right, it's not even her birthday. So, <laughs> yeah, the random things that she does, my god. Oh. Alright, the next uh, part we see, oh, the, the teacher is still continuing with the, um, what do you call it, the, the pictures that uh, Mio drew, and she's still continuing with that. And, and like, a lot of people have written a lot of things under the Tasara's picture, you know, like with the champagne and the, the crown. Someone has written king, someone has written street king, and what else? Man. And she's actually. Oh, man was correct. All the others were wrong. Now, this kind of confused me multiple times previously as well, because I was not aware of that. Uh, like, you know, I'm not talking about now, but quite a few years, even a few years ago, I was not aware of the fact that how, like, you know, they kind of mark the tests is like. What I know, like at least what my country does is like put a 
this like a, the mark you know like a tick mark to indicate that it's correct and put a you know like a circle over something to indicate it's wrong or put a cross mark to indicate it's wrong you know i think that's how it usually goes but i after watching anime i got to know that in japan it's actually the opposite and a, a round mark is actually correct and uh, a, a, a tick mark is actually wrong so you know I, at first I, like, when i started watching anime i was very confused i was like what's happening and then i got to know that oh this is actually the case and that's why here all the tick marks that she was putting were actually incorrect i think and the only one that she put a round mark was the one that was correct which was the man so <laughs> anyways um <clears throat> all right the next okay the next part was hilarious <laughs> you come you and my goes to the restaurant uh like you know, like a very good restaurant like a very um like you know famous place i think yeah and yuko is like ah i've always wanted to come here and she she you know she's very excited with everything like you know all the like you know like the place and the atmosphere and everything you know the <laughs> and she's like uh, yeah, okay she okay like i'm going to i'm gonna i'm going to uh like you know uh you know uh, what kind of order 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 the food and uh, she asks the others she asks my what to what she wants my says that she wants um what herring soup without the herring and <laughs> the things that she says well mio just ordered normal i think uh normal soba i think no uh, uh, regular cold noodles there you go and you you goes like ah like just like an amateur you're asking uh, like and <laughs> you goes like i'm going to have a fried summer vegetable bowl ordering a rice dish as a soup at a soup restaurant is pretty bold right and she keeps talking about how this is the speciality of this season and how she would like you know like you're not ordering this would be a very big mistake all that stuff she keeps saying like you know, <laughs> she's so excited you know and then she's like yeah i know like i'm, I'm i know i i know my stuff over here you know no need to worry i'm going to i'm going to handle this and <laughs> she's like all right like of course the waiter <laughs> The waiter doesn't care. <laughs> and she normally asks her and then gives the order. And like, you know, does weird, like, you know, poses. And, uh, like, you know, those. And then. <laughs> they're waiting for the food. Um, <clears throat> okay. The first, uh, Mio and Mai's food comes in. And they start eating, obviously. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yuko is like it's fine you know that they're, they're they're probably like you know preparing it and for a more genuine experience they're actually preparing it now you know like all fresh and everything and when it's still not coming she's like oh maybe they're they're off to get some vegetables you know like freshly taken vegetable freshly plucked out vegetables they're just doing that to for the more authenticity of the food and they actually see a person an old lady outside bringing vegetables You know what this is such a weird experience as far as i like, you know, like i'm also like you know I've, I've known this as well like you're like you know you order something different for your like you know, yourself and your friend your friend's food comes before and you just to stop just waiting there for your own food and your friends are also awkward because they cannot start because your food has not come and like you know rarely this happens but it does happens you know like in restaurants what they usually do is like if you're like in a, in a group they try to bring everything at the same time but really it does happen i guess and that's so weird <laughs> anyways um <clears throat> and she's just waiting and then the waitress just goes with another someone else's food and yuko's like oh it's finally here and then she's like oh never mind just <laughs> And now she is just at the end of her rope. She's like, God damn it. Like, you know, takes the chopstick, just breaks it. <laughs> he was like, it's okay, it's okay, calm down. You know? <laughs> While Mai has already finished her food. <clears throat> Yuko's like, I don't care about reputation. I'm not even get getting my food. Like, what about reputation? <laughs> and she's just like, like, just lost her cool. And... She's like, I'm going to, I'm going to complain. And 
and then the food comes in the food does look good you know like it looks really good and <laughs> this was just amazing i i love the fact that yuko's like so mad yuko's like like this took so long and she was going to say that and she just looks at the waitress and the waitress is just crying you know and yuko's like okay i guess it's okay fine you know like you go ahead and <laughs> the waitress just leaves i guess that's one way to escape from your customers like you know wrath is that start crying before they say anything they're going to get surprised you know and obviously like if you could say something at that moment to her everyone would look at her and everyone would judge her like this girl is already crying and you're actually saying like you know this type of things to her on top of her crying like what type of a person are you you're cruel you know that type of a thing so obviously the person who is going to complain can also not complain because <laughs> that would like you know be so wrong and i guess this is one way you know to <laughs> to somehow it's a bold move you know it's a bold move like you know like imagine going to a customer's uh, like you know table and just start crying before the customer is even able to complain that's a bold move but if you can pull it off i guess that it would work probably <laughs> <laughs> oh god that was that was hilarious i loved that that part was just so funny <clears throat> all right the next part the mosquito part and uh, yeah she has two mosquito repellents there <laughs> even if that that was the case the mosquitoes are not just leaving her alone and it's just buzzing away in front of her and yuko's like ah i've had enough let's get up and let's get the mosquito out she tries to grab like you know kill the mosquito and uh, tries to keep, kind of trick it, faint, use faints on the mosquito, and it did work. You know, like she was able to kill it, which I was surprised. I was like, I was like, maybe the mosquito is going to run, like, fly away or something. But then in comes another one, and another one, and she just like, you know, I, I love the whole section of her come, like, you know, just busting out some martial arts moves, you know? like that one section as well where she just grabs it by her two fingers just just something like this the blood just splatters on the ground you know the way samurais like you know like, like attack someone like blood gets into their sword and they just kind of you know like do this so that the blood can just leave the blade and like you know so and <laughs> i love the whole reference as well like i i've done like another insignificant murder or something she said which is i guess a kind of like a um parody on like the whole rupan goemon's line of uh i've like you know i've cut another insignificant thing that that quote <clears throat> now <laughs> all of this was happening she was making such a big ruckus and she's like enough is enough there's so many mosquitoes mom comes in and she's like mom we have to move and the mom just slaps her i knew the slap was coming because this whole section was her slapping the mosquitoes so obviously her mom is going to come and slap her <laughs> just slaps her and you know like she just falls down and the mosquito's dead however the mom is like yeah enough is enough it's it's deep in the night and you're you're making noise just go back to bed and <laughs> she's just there laying on the ground and the mosquitoes come again and oh boy okay then then that was the helvet standard the the little angel and the the that, okay that's not a tengu who is that uh like like the the one with the mask is that an oni i don't is that an oni i think not i don't know anyways um you know like they were doing the whole shiritori and the angel was trying so much to teach the, the demon or whatever to say and the, he was not able to say anything properly <laughs> all right then there was that section with the fan and I, I i think like everyone does this i've seen this in anime as well you know like a table fan they kind of go in front of it and they kind of like just make noise in front of it and because of the fan you know the the, the voice kind of gets like you know a little bit shaky and it like reverberates or something and weird noise comes out and i think everyone does that like i also used to do it when i was a kid and uh, not only a kid i can also do it now but i'm just saying you know like so yeah, like, I feel like everyone does that. It's kind of interesting. I, I thought I was the only one who did it, but there you go, everyone does it. <laughs> oh. 
Like this is a weird thing about like you know like a thing like where I, I I've seen this made multiple times. This is something off topic, but like you know like things that we used to do in our childhood and even do sometimes like our habits and everything. Like most of the things, like you know, at least I think that I'm the only one who did it. But as time went on, I realized that not only me but everyone at that age used to do that, and I was like, wow, like you know like the each like you know, the same thing came into everyone's mind. That means. And they attempted to do it. It was really weird in a way, which kind of shows how we're connected. Even though we're like in different places, different countries, people do the same thing. You know, it's just like how this is like kind of kind of making noise in front of the fan. I, I think this is like a universal thing. Everyone does it. I thought I was the only one who used to do it, but no. <laughs> so this kind of a thing popped up to everyone's head when they were a kid like oh look how it would feel like if i just made some noise in front of a table fan and everyone attempted it and everyone did it and which is really crazy to, if you think about it you know because yeah anyways um okay the next part uh, hakase um uh, nano and sakamoto and uh, oh boy hakase is like this is so cool i found like and i got a winning um ice cream stick and it was in the in the end that it was written that i have won that's so rare and she's just getting excited while sakamoto's like huh, getting excited over like a like a little popsicle stick you're a kid <laughs> well nano was just mad nano was like why are you eating before having your food and she brings her om rice and Damn, like having omelets for dinner, that's, that's nice, you know, that's quite nice. And <laughs> Takamoto is like, you know, keeping on, like, you know, like just saying that, oh, getting like, you know, excited over such a little thing. And, uh, you know, you're still a kid. <laughs> and then, like, you know, like, I think, what's her name? Um, Nano puts some kind of a thing in her, in his bowl, Takamoto's bowl. I think probably more food. And... He sees that there's a little crab in it. And Sakamoto's like, oh, that's so rare, you know? <laughs> and Nano's just silently judging. And uh, not Nano, sorry. Hakas is just silently judging him. <laughs> oh my god. And now, because she, he, she ate all the snacks, she cannot finish her omelette. rice. She just ate a little bit of it. And she's like, Nano's, uh, Hakas is like, I cannot eat it. I'm full. And Nano's like, I knew it. You ate the snacks, didn't you? And she's like, how many times have I told you not to eat snacks before dinner, this and that? She's grumbling and she opens the cupboard and she's like, nothing is there. <laughs> nah, Hakasa ate everything. And I love, I love the fact that all the time, whenever something like this happens, <laughs> whenever Nano gets mad, what Hakasa does is Hakasa is like, oh, Sakamoto told me to eat, eat it. <laughs> that. Like casually shift your blame to your cat <laughs> and it's so convenient because Sakamoto can talk you know like not everyone's cat can talk so she can just say that yeah the cat told me to eat it like what can I do you can I'm innocent Sakamoto's fault <laughs> and this time I feel like look uh, like you know even Nano was like all right Sakamoto you also sit down we're going to have a talk and she keeps like you know like talking about how like it's wrong to like you know have so many you know like snacks before meal this and that and she's like enough is enough you know you are not going to have your um strawberry juice and uh you know no more snacks no more strawberry juice and uh yeah nano just leaves <laughs> and haka says like no my strawberry juice and she's like she goes there she's like like yeah i, I wanted like you know I, i'm going to eat all my vegetables i'm going to do everything i'm not going to eat snacks before it like, you know, please, please don't do that, Nano. And Nano is not listening at all. So Hakase brings up the biggest weapon she has. She's like, I'm going to remove your key. And obviously Nano wants that. Nano always wanted the key to be removed. So she's like, okay, if you remove my key, I will forgive you this time. And she was going to give the <laughs> strawberry you know, juice to her. But Hakase is like, uh, no, and she's like, no, I'm not going to do it. First, let her remove my key and then I'm going to do it. Because I feel like I'm going to get tricked. And she's like, yeah, Hakase, you do it first, then I'm going to give it to you. And Hakase is like, okay, fine. <laughs> and, oh my god. She had the strawberry juice in her hand. 
What Hakase did is just go to the fridge. And I think she took out another one, didn't she? Yeah, she took out another one and just left. <laughs> and Nana's just mad. Nana starts chasing him, her. She falls down. Like one of her hand has the, the popsicle stick written loser on it. And she starts like, you know, like getting mad. And she's like, why are you like this? Like, why do you put this weird stuff inside me? And then she's again eating the popsicle, like. <laughs> now I always like I do wonder why, like you know, um, like Hakase did say that it it wouldn't be uh, a problem to take out the key. So why does she not take out the key? I do wonder because I do realize it must be a big source of annoyance for Nano because you know, like, you cannot s lay down properly with that thing in your back, you know. Like, it, it must be very weird. So I do wonder why Hakase, like, I'm, I'm sure, like, Hakase herself said that it has no actual reasoning behind it, you know, like, it's, it's just there. So who knows, maybe there's something else, like, you know, she's not telling Nano. I don't know. And that's why she's not taking out the key. All, all the time that she is, has been asked to take out the key, she always, like, kind of ignores it or, like, tries to brush it aside. Maybe, maybe because of some other reason. I don't know, I think I'm looking too much into it. <laughs> Never mind. And then we get to see Mai with her dogs. Okay. Now, oh boy, the next and the final part. Mio's uh, sister is like, uh, I have something to do. Can you, can you help out the neighborhood association part-time job? And the mom has gone to the kickboxing the, the thing, I think. What kickboxing something? And no, kick volleyball. Sorry, not kickboxing. <laughs> And that's why the mom cannot do anything. Like you have to do it. Now, sister says that they're going to pay ten thousand yen, which in itself is such a weird thing. Like I've never heard any kind of a simple job like this, They're just going and standing as a mascot to pay this well. Ten thousand yen is a lot of money. So, like. I I don't know like and I, at first I thought maybe like you know like she, her sister was tricking her or something but maybe it really is like ten thousand yen and like I have no idea anyways um so the rice cake fair she's just standing as a mascot with a thing on top of her head and I feel like maybe because of this like you know they pay them so much money because a lot of things happen here you know like first of all. You know, like kids just come and start annoying you. You know, a lot of like you know, a lot of other things also happen. Like you know, like you know, people just you know, like stare at you and all of that thing. So maybe because of that, they're paying ten thousand yen or something. I don't know. But either way, um, Mio is definitely not happy with this. Mio's like, what the hell is this? I'm just standing here like a fool with a thing in my head. I can't even see anyone. So. <laughs> Like a kid just like you know, bumps into her and falls down and when she tries to help her out the kid is like oh my god what is this it runs away the store manager is just standing there nonchalant and two kids come and starts annoying her and they're like oh look at this like look at this weird person <laughs> standing with the thing on her on the head starts punching her and <laughs> Mio gets mad really mad at the end she's like Start screaming and the kids run away. <laughs> Yuko comes by and I feel like, like at first I thought did she recognize her and then I'm like no probably not and <laughs> she's just on the looking on the other side. <laughs> All that happens and then the the manager is like comes out and the manager is like please don't ruin the rice cakes image don't do stuff like this. The manager's like, oh, God damn, part timers, give me that. I'm going to show you how to do this. <laughs> Takes the rice cake, like in a headpiece, and like she's like, he's like, okay, you 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 store, like you you be in front of the store, and uh, do something, and uh, let me do the advertising. <laughs> he was like, all right, for ten thousand yen, I'm ready to do it, and oh my god, <laughs> the manager starts. Busting up some weird dance moves, making some weird noises, starts twerking. <laughs> That's what he was doing, you know. 
and then suddenly a customer comes finally and he was like okay how much it does this even cost she looks at the manager and she sees that the police officer has arrested the manager <laughs> with a gun in the hand <laughs> and <laughs> i don't know why he got arrested probably because he was doing weird stuff in front of the road that's why probably but i feel like again like pointing a gun at him is a bit too much but anyways <laughs> Or maybe that's a toy gun, I don't know. <laughs> Either way, you know, like, he was like, yeah, just take it for free. And I, I don't know. I don't care. That's where it ends. I do wonder if she got her money, you know, like, because they made no progress, no sales. Like, first you need to have a little bit of profit. At least then the manager would be able to pay the part-timers. They had no profit, I think. Like, what, what even happened there? <laughs> And then 10,000 yen, like my god. Okay, the next part, uh, uh, and the little ending part we had when Nano also like starts, like kills a mosquito and she just faints. And yeah, that's where it ends. Yeah, another really funny episode. That was good. Uh, I love I, this episode, my like, you know, the highlight, like, you know, the highlight of this episode, the part I loved very much is the restaurant part where Yuko was just waiting for her food and then in the end the, the, the waitress comes gives her the food and starts crying before anything else and Yuko's like okay I should not say anything I should not complain and <laughs> that was hilarious I love that part anyways that's it thanks for watching this was my reaction to Nishijo episode number 9 if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and I'll check them out so that is it. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next week with another episode of Nichijou. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.